Hello, hello guys. Namaste. Rev. Ni hao. Ok. Arok. Hola. Kui amor. San bonani. Namaste. Yeah, <laughs> and so on. Anyway, we have a laptop, HP laptop, and the USB ports are not working. Uh, even the one on the right hand side, it's not working at all. I did check them physically, and uh, there's nothing. I didn't see any suspicious uh, component. But what I can tell you here is that th this problem coming from the from this chip you can see there is a benchmark there somehow I'm not sure maybe if it's my eyes but there is a benchmark there I believe this fault is coming from this from this chip I know I and again I believe that when we check the USB port you will have uh, 5 volts but the data lines you will have a problem with the data line because because of this chip let's see let's see my theory if it's correct or wrong i have a hard drive here and uh, this is the this is the charging port now let me find a charger hold on i'm trying to to look for a charger let's connect a charger mm. Okay, the charge has been connected and we do have a light. Now, let's turn on this machine. Wait. Okay, let's connect the charger. All right. Let's press the, the power button. The pen is spinning. Okay, now to test, uh, let me show you. Uh, to test a USB port easily, I normally use this wire. I'm sure, you can see. So, what I will do is uh, I will take a fan. This is a fan, uh, it's a 12 volt fan. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not but i'm gonna give it a try and see if it does work or not and if it doesn't it's fine and if it does it's okay as well either way it's okay okay o otherwise let's just not use a fan let's use a multimeter this is a multimeter Turn it into a range of 20 volts you connect your usb to a usb port remember we are testing the usb port right so yeah make sure that those wires they don't touch because if they do you will kill the machine you will send the 5 volts on the data line and you know what will happen right so we, we we don't want that let's check the multimeter set your meter into a range of 20 volts check one prop you take one prop you touch there on the cr on the ground and that a prop on the red wire it will have the five volts there we do have the five volts it means the usb has received the usb port does receive power on the data line you won't have any voltages i've seen this before even here on this white one you won't have any voltages okay normally the data lines you can hear the name as well data lines means that's where 
the USB transfer data uh, it sends some sort of uh, of signals like on and uh, some sort of waves or oh, that's how it communicates that's how it transfer the data through this chip let's do this thing now let's uh let's connect a phone yeah a phone I have a phone here there's my phone uh, let's connect the USB there let's connect the phone phone doesn't charge that's all let's try another port phone is not charging not doing anything you know why it's because oh you know what I don't trust this USB cable let me let me use this phone let's take a USB power a USB cable connect a USB cable there Now let's connect. Oh wow, it's charging. Okay, the phone is charging. It means that USB was faulty. That USB cable was faulty because I can see a phone there is charging. All right, I like this. I love this. Now let's try to get the information. I wanna see if we'll be able to see a display on this PC I'm just trying trying my luck if we can we'll go to a desktop if we can't we can't all right so what we do now microscope all right sorry guys it's our bad lucky we can see the information but what i can show you is that the phone is charging so now what we can do is let's put back everything let's connect the display i want to see if we will have if the pc is able to read a usb all right guys uh we have the board and the usb is connected it means uh the usb ports are now working but keep in mind i didn't do anything to fix this usb port i just plug in the usb and now the usb ports are working so you know what exactly does this mean it means the faulty was coming maybe from the chases something was shorting the the usb port or the power line to five volts on the usb or the network card but something something along the way was causing the shorts which made the usb port you not know, to function at all but you now the usb ports are working i don't know how how is that possible but let's connect a, a mouse an external mouse let's see hope you can see the mouse is, is working it's connected on those usb see i can move stuff now let's do this let's uh remember one usb port i mean all 
all of these usb ports were not working now let's open some information how to open a folder uh, any folder open this folder and then let's push it to this side i want to see the usb ports i mean i want to see the usb okay i saw my usb connected there i want to find the proper way of showing you my usb okay let's go to this pc okay the usb i can see the usb is working guys i'm so happy although i didn't do anything but here there was a lesson to learn you saw how i was diagnosing this usb's uh, port right i checked if they were receiving the five volts or not and they were re receiving the five volts it means the, the five volts is being shorted somewhere somewhere on the chassis or by one of the components anyway guys this is it uh stay tuned I'm gonna keep on teaching you uh, more and more stuff until you are tired but go ahead press the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video sharp sharp i love you so much